Hello everyone, the Claws here, and today guys I'm going to review a new Matawan from my own advent calendar, which is made with mostly Matawan mock, uh, or Bionicle creation if, if you prefer, and today well a new frame, and this time it was made by me way back in 2005, uh, 2006 it should be, and well here we go. So the legs are pretty simple because it's just connectors and block legs and or block arms and block feet as you can see right there. I added this little, this little part right here to make the uh, feet look bulkier and also because uh, this type of little stripe, so black stripe on white part, will be also seen on the arms. So you will have a reminder in terms of colors uh, throughout the color chain, which is obviously black and white. Uh, we're going to link these two parts with a t-shirt part right there. Then we're going to link the upper part of the body, which is in fact made with an older foot, as you can see, which is useful to link, of course, the head and also the arms on this axle. And obviously, we're going to use this second axle to link it to the bottom part. Then we have to link the arms, which looks like that. So uh, usually this frame doesn't really involve any armors or uh, bigger arms, but this time, uh, because this guy is mostly a warrior, I wanted to make it bulkier. So like, kind of like the, for the fit, excuse me. So we have Wax's head linked right there, and we have, of course, this uh, simple technique used by many mockers uh, to make the arms bulkier with simply a slicer or robots in the US fit, well, foot, excuse me. And because we need a canary which looks really uh, massive, well, I'm going to use this one. So the new Churaga Nuzu canary. Nuyu, excuse me, canary. And so this guy is a warrior, but not really a, mod, a modern, modern warrior. So this means it doesn't really have any uh, weapons uh, with bullets and stuff like that. It, in fact, got a simple sword first. So yes, just one part, but you will understand uh, letter Y. And then he also has a shield, which is made with two Ardika's body armors, you can see right there. They are linked thanks to this Technic Beam uh, on this side. And as you can see, this part right there is going to be useful for two things. The first one, obviously, to link this part, uh, so I can link and finish my shield. And the second one is because uh, it featured an axle hole, and thanks to this axle hole, I will be uh, able to link this T-shaped part, and so uh, I will be able to link my shield on the arm. So just need to take a little connector, and then do this thing. And here you go, the wire is now finished. But that's not all, so keep, uh, keep watching, because I have a little thing after that. So here we go, as you can see. And if you want, you can also put the shield on the back, so it's quite simple to, to make. So first, of course, you put off these weapons, you open this guy in half, you take the weapon and put it right there. Then you let this axle hole slide, uh, well, more like the axle slide through the axle hole right here. And then you link this thing back in place. Now, because obviously you have to make some details to the squad when it's not attached on the end, I uh, add this part and then I add this part which was used to link the shield on the end. And that said, well, that's all for this matter one, but that's not finished because, of course, it's got his shield, his little squad, but also he got, well, a catapult. Here we go. The catapult is made with two Inica body frames, as you can maybe see a uh, white right air. So, of course, the ball joints are going to be used to link some connectors, and these connectors will be used, as you can see, to link the wheels. So, of course, uh, because the connectors uh, would have moved if, um, if just put on the ball joints, I linked other parts to make this thing really uh, strong. So, here's the final uh, wheel. Also, you have to notice that to link this big part, I just used two uh, uh, older foot, older feet, yes, older feet, excuse me, guys, uh, which are also linked together thanks to other parts to add some more details and to make only really, it's a big, bad, and mean machine right there. Uh, 
and can I sort of say yes, we we'll also have other uh, fit on the side to add some more details to the overall catapult. Obviously, you have this part which will be useful to hold the boulder to launch, and at the end, you also have a kind of like a dragon's head made with some uh, two, uh, made with two other feet. So you have the eyes in red, thanks to this axle, and also some horns, white hair. So you can really imagine how they use that to um, to um, to make their enemy uh, their enemies afraid, I guess, which can be quite useful in, uh, in battle. Um, and the last thing to notice, so obviously, thanks to these two older foot feet, excuse me, I have really uh, many, I have some weights on the front, and so this means I can be able to do that. But as you can see, if I just want to put the boulder right there, it will just stay right here. So it's uh, quite useful. And the final thing is this tall gear right there. So it's not linked to anything, but it's here in fact because the idea is that when you have uh, the catapult in this position. You just have to turn the gear, then the catapult is put in this position. The matter one comes, he put the boulder right there, and now he's ready to launch. So the idea is that he just had to uh, let go of the gears right there, and then the catapult will go boom, like that. So it works quite well, in my opinion. It really depends on how you uh, push on this thing, like that, but it works uh, in a nice way. And that said, I think that's all for this matter one, guys. And obviously it's catapult, so here is the catapult in question. And here is the matter one. Right there. And I think that will be all for this review, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, as usual, feel free to ask them in the comment section of this video review. I will happily uh, read them and answer them. And that said, well, hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks you for watching. Have a nice day and see you later for another video review. Bye bye.